some would argue that the lights are as important as the sound in um, one of our shows. So we're going to talk now to Simon, our lighting designer. Simon, yes. I wonder if you could explain um, this amazing contraption you have in front of you. This is my grandma going at my desk, and it will control pretty much any light made in the world. And I can make them do anything I want. Um, and they have full so you, so you control it. you control everything manually. Well, no, um, I, well, I do control everything manually, but then I store it. But you have presets, don't as, you? Yeah, I do have presets. So you have preset light. But that, yeah. for instance, is all the lights pointing at, at um, okay, yeah. Mark's microphone with the, with the system in the up position. Okay. Um, this is all down position. If I see that one light is not pointing in the right place, I can just select it here, oh, that I one see. there, and then I can move that around. You can grab it manually. Yeah. That's me doing it. Yeah, that's you doing it. The art of course action. And if I let go? Uh, if you let go, they'll just stay with it all. they stay there? Yeah. yeah. But then it gets better, because then you get into this, and do a bit of that, and then you can just say, well, I want them all to be yellow, and do that. There you go. Or we'll have pale red, which might oh. a mark pattern to it. You might say that one. A bit of that. And then we can get stupid and start doing things like this. This yeah. desk will move scenery for you if you want it to. That's yes. a monstrous thing, isn't it? It'll do anything. It, Control it video. Yeah, it does video, it fixes your bike. Um, can it juggle? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> My, I have a very easy job. Yeah, sure yeah. you do. <laughs> My guy will do swap four, okay? Two and three will always, almost always, be on Mount Lafayette, centre of the stage. Who will be there? We have two keyboards. There's one, there's the other. So we have a keyboard there, keyboard here. Here we have a bass player. Here we have a multi-instrumentalist, and that's the last time I will ever use that word today. His name is John, and he will be there. And over here we have the second guitarist. This keyboard player, who is that keyboard player, will, will on two occasions move down here and I'll have you picking up on him. Everything is on the three counts, three seconds. When we come back out... <laughs> um, there is a thing here which we call Guitar Alley and this is where Mark picks up all these new guitars and quite often he is to be found here. Okay, downstage left, corner of the drum riser. Um, and then he will we'll walk in that direction. Okay? So if I say, um, you know, pick him up and put him above the guitar, I mean, that's where he is. Second guitarist quite often picks his guitars up from this wing and moves in that direction. Okay? And his name is Richard. Uh, guy wearing, uh, he's got a beard. Okay, black shirt normally. At the end of every song, unless it's a bump, I will count you out. And the way I count you out is I'll go three, two, one, out. You start the fade on three. Okay, so we're going three, two, one, out. The only microphone on is me, unless you're on fire. Okay? I thank you very much. Thank you.